I'm going to show you how I remember the really complex process of photosynthesis really simply. I just think of it in terms of two boxes. They represent the two key parts of photosynthesis. First, we have the light dependent reactions. Light dependent, they depend on light. So one of the inputs is sunlight. So apart from sunlight, all of the other inputs and outputs we summarize in our formula, chemical formula for photosynthesis. So we'll go ahead and write that down. So we've got our inputs are carbon dioxide plus water and the outputs are glucose and oxygen. Now, of course, to balance that, I just need to go six, six, and six. Okay, so inputs are carbon dioxide and water, outputs are glucose and oxygen. So let's have a look at where they go in and out. So the light dependent reaction, the whole point of the light dependent reaction is to split water. So that means that one of the inputs then, of course, well, the input is water. Split water, so splitting it into hydrogen and oxygen, because the hydrogen is actually required for the second half of photosynthesis, but the, the oxygen's not, so oxygen is an output. So one of the inputs was uh, water, and one of the outputs is oxygen. So we've looked at that part of it. Light dependent reaction splits water and this occurs in the grana. The grana are the, the stacks and the sunlight. So of course this is all in the chloroplast uh, and these stacks are called grana or singular grana, plural grana. Okay, so the light dependent reactions happen in the grana, they split water and hydrogen goes across to the second half of the reaction. There's one more thing also, and that is energy. And the energy is in the form of ATP and also high energy electrons. Now we're in the second half of the reaction, and these are called our light independent reactions. Light independent. And this occurs in the stroma. So the stroma is this sort of space here between the grana. And the whole point of the light independent reactions are to fix carbon. Taking inorganic carbon from the atmosphere and fixing it into glucose. So we're taking carbon dioxide in from the atmosphere and we're fixing it to make glucose. These are our inputs, and these are our outputs of photosynthesis. So this is all I remember. This is what I remember in terms of summarizing the reactions of photosynthesis.